What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. I'm gonna talk about Kevin Durant. He declines the $31.5 million option for next season. So he's uh, now a free agent. He's declined the option, the one year option on his contract for $31.5 million. So he is el now he's uh, eligible to become a free agent for the upcoming season. So he's, you know, they, they say he's in New York with his um, manager, his business manager, and they're just right now going through the process. Uh, I think, uh, so we'll see what happens, man. Uh, Stephen A. Smith on his show this morning said that it, 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 he thinks his, uh, Durant's going to sign with the Knicks or the Nets. He said he looks at those two guys, two, those two teams as the uh, two prime destinations for uh, Durant's services. I had to disagree with Stephen A. slightly on that. I think uh, the Nets are the front runner. I, I think uh, Golden State is probably number two, and I think the Knicks are a distant third. The Knicks don't have the pieces, man, for uh, Durant. Even if you bring Durant there and uh, Kyrie Irving, they have a lot of young players, and they have uh, a lot of players that still need to be proven on that roster. So I don't think that roster is established as, uh, say, a Nets roster. The Nets have a very good young roster, but they've got a good roster good uh, role players, guys that have played in playoff basketball last season, guys that have established themselves on a higher level than guys on the uh, New York Knicks roster. So I think uh, the Nets will be a better fit for Kevin Durant and uh, Kyrie Irving going there than uh, if uh, Kevin Durant and Kyrie goes goes there to the uh, to the Knicks. I think it's uh, I think it's going to be a package deal. I think if Kevin Durant goes anywhere and leaves Golden State, he's going with uh, Kyrie Irving. So if it's Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, it's, it's not going to be uh, Kevin Durant with the Knicks and Kyrie with the Nets. It's not going to play out like that in my opinion. I think both of those guys are, are together and it's going to be a package deal. So if Kyrie, if you, all these rumors that we're hearing that uh, Kyrie is destined to go to the Nets, that's good news as far as uh, if you're a Nets fan, you want to bring in Kevin Durant because uh, I think it's a package deal. So if you're hearing rumors that uh, Kyrie is pretty much 85% to go to the Nets, I think that's a good possibility that Kevin Durant will end up over there with the Nets too. So uh, you know, if you know, maybe they'll look at the Knicks, on, you know, and see, give them a sit-down interview, and maybe they can press them and have a good interview and uh, and uh, blow their pants off or whatever, and, uh, and have a real good, impressive uh, display of what their organization is future holds for those two guys, and maybe they'll uh, change their mind. But either way it goes, man, it's going to be a package deal in my opinion, and I think the Brooklyn Nets are the front runner. Just giving you guys a quick update on that. Kevin Durant has declined the option for next season for 31.5 million with the Warriors and he is now a, a now a free agent. And uh, again, Stephen A Smith is reporting that the, he thinks he's going to sign with the Nets or the Knicks. J JB Sports is in his opinion is saying that the Nets are the front runner, Golden State is second, and uh the Knicks are a distant third. So I, if you had if I had to put money on it right now, I think uh Kevin Durant and Kevin Durant both are going to end up with the Brooklyn Nets. But we'll see how it plays out. June the 30th uh, is uh, is uh, when free agency begins, 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central, and we'll see what's going on, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be crazy, man. This is some a lot of people say this this is this part of the season for the NBA is more is more uh, fun to cover than the regular season. So we you know a lot of people feel that way. You know a lot of people don't pay attention to the uh, NBA until the playoffs. They feel the free agency is more exciting than the NBA regular season. So we'll see what happens, man. But uh, this is JB Sports. The man, the myth, the legend. I holla.